Manos, welcome to the Digimedia Pro's expo coverage here at SIGGRAPH 2016. Hello. And you are with uh, Redshift? With Redshift Rendering Technologies, who develop the Redshift Renderer. Okay, so you guys develop a, a rendering engine. Exactly. All right, for our audience that's not familiar with what rendering engines are, mm -hmm. give us an overview. Why, what's a rendering engine? Okay, so a rendering engine is uh, something that basically computes light and shading. So in other words, like an artist creates the basic shape of things, defines where the camera is, where the lights are, and then the renderer does the heavy lifting work of computing all the reflections, all the shadows, like the shading on the surfaces, and you know, can help like make materials appear realistic. Like for example, if you're rendering a character, it computes how light diffuses within the skin and actually creates like the shading that is like realistic, like on human skin. I see. So your rendering engine or a rendering engine usually works along with a 3D app, like exactly. Maya or Cinema 4D. That's correct. I see. And so why would you want a separate rendering rendering engine versus uh, just using the built-in into the 3D app? Okay, so so Redshift is a GPU accelerated renderer, which means that it's using GPUs to do the heavy lifting computations, and because GPUs can do a lot of those computations faster than CPU, it means that Redshift can generate images considerably faster than the built-in solutions that come with those 3D apps, which most of them, if not all of them, are actually CPU based. So the reason why people use Redshift is to be able to generate those images considerably faster, requiring cheaper hardware, less hardware, like requiring you know like a much smaller render farm or not a render farm at all. Right. And you get like a really high quality result at a fraction of a cost and time. So when you say much faster, what are, are we talking about? 10%, 50% faster than if you wouldn't use a rendering engine? How much? It, it, it depends like on the uh, case. We have actually heard like people claim speed up factors that might be as low as like four to five times. Okay. And we have even heard people claim speed up factors of 40 times. I mean, to be honest with you. It for, depends on the complexity of the exactly. project. Exactly. It, yeah. it, 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 it depends on that. It also depends like on I.O., like certain scenes. Right. Might require like a lot of data to be fetched, like from, you know, basically things that unfortunately the GPU today cannot help with. Right, right, right. So uh, to be, have a better understanding, the way it works is you have a workstation where the artist is using Cinema 4D or Maya, mm -hmm. and then when they're ready, they s export to a separate machine where your rendering engine is? No, actually, so, so, so Redshift is a, like an integrated product. What this means is that when you install it, you go to Cinema 4D or Maya, and then you know, there is like a little list of renderers. All you have to do is like select Redshift, and then the scene that you have will be rendered with Redshift. Now having said that, Redshift does support some of the native materials, like the native shaders and the native lights of those 3D apps, but it also introduces its own, like its own shaders and its own lights right. and, uh, and camera effects. We, we sort of like support both of those so that people that don't want to immediately jump in and learn Redshift shaders can still work with their familiar shaders that the 3D package supports. But eventually, you know, once they become more familiar with Redshift, then we advise them to use the Redshift native shader, right, right. which might, you know, provide like more features and might perform a little bit better too. But now Redshift is on a separate machine. No, no, Redshift is on the same machine that runs the 3D app. I see, I yes. see. But isn't there a separate works or server also rendering this? Uh, yes, I mean, one of the things that you can do with Redshift, if you like, you can actually export your scene right. from your 3D app to a stand, to a separate data file, and then you can render that data file on any computer. So in other words, yes, you could yeah, have like so a you can have like server, a farm. exactly. You could have like a farm that doesn't even need the original 3D app to be installed. So for example, you can actually export a scene from Maya, and then render it with Redshift command line on a computer that doesn't even have Maya installed. Oh, I see, okay. And then, um, so is Redshift also, there's a server part for Redshift that runs on the rendering server? Uh, if, if you're referring to like distributed rendering, where you right. gonna, uh, th that one we don't currently support, but that's like planned for in the next uh, few months. I see. And what is the cost for Redshift? So Redshift comes in two varieties. There is a node lock uh, license, which means that the license is tied to one specific machine, although you can deactivate the license and move it. Uh, so that's why we call it node lock rehostable license. Right. And, the, uh, and that costs $500. And we have like a floating license, which costs $600. And that one is like the regular floating license, which means you know you have like a server, it hosts like a pool of those licenses, and those those are dynamically allocated and deallocated depending on which machine is currently rendered. I see. And what uh, apps do you currently support? 
We support Soft Image, Maya, Viri Studio Max, and we recently introduced like our first version of Houdini, which is still being worked but is fully featured already. And we're hoping in the next few weeks to start with the Cinema 4D Alpha version. Okay, fantastic. And if people want to find out more about it, where can they go? Yeah, they're going to go to uh, www.redshift3d.com where we have like a forum and in the forum you will find many users that are, will be more than happy to answer questions and of course we are there as well so if you have any questions we'll be happy to answer them. Fantastic. Well great to meet you. Thank you. Thank you.